morning. Okay, let's go. I need some scent. thirsty today. Need to take some water. Oh look, a clean kitchen. Who is she? Where did you find her? Mr. Downstairs. I hope he's out. I hope he's awake. Well, if he wasn't, he is now. Have I got my keys? Oh, mum, I'm coming over yet. I probably should. Is this stuff in the car yet? Well, baby, it's cold outside. You have to go away. This evening has been so very nice. Uh, I'm coming over today. I'm coming over. I've got some work to do. I'm coming over. I've got some work to do. Gotta get me through Thursday. I'm a survivor. Where are my keys? She was walking along eating a Muller corner in the rain. <laughs> Vibes. <laughs> Can you believe this is the first day I'm wearing this new t shirt I got from Vinted? Saying Soleil on it. And it's the greyest, wettest day I think of the year so far. But, you know, positive thinking and all that. <laughs> What's this? It's a pip of a, some fruit. What are you doing? I'm trying to find the earplugs and the nose plug. The thing. Well, the earplugs are on it. No, no, no. They give you a spare pair, Lauren. I wouldn't be looking. Mum's got a problem with the goggles that she bought. Do you want to put them on? I mean, they match your nighty. Yeah, I know they match my nighty. So in where I swim, I swim in a lake. I swim in lanes, and sometimes you get men coming really fast towards you, and you have to make sure you can see them. <laughs> Can't see anything. 
I mean, they match your robe. Well, they might. I, I bought them because I've already got the pale blue ones, and I thought it's going to. I come mean, they up. look quite cool. Yeah, they might look cool, Lauren, but they feel horrible. So they're coming off now. They have little hanging earplugs, which are brilliant. But do they fit your ears? Uh, yeah, they fit my ears. They're a little bit small. Let me show you the. Because if you put it, if you this is how red. Wait. And that's with the. This last... is how red it is. Looking through, in the swimming pool. Can you wave at me? <laughs> but really, I I didn't feel. No, horrible, horrible. So there's mum trying to get a different colour so she knows what new, goggles can, yeah. are hers in the... The new ones, which is the new... Yeah, no, they're horrible. Yeah. Um, so I'm, <clears throat> we've just filled out the returns form. This I'm the gonna give them buy, back. Buy on Amazon, they are, you know, good for returns, aren't they? Mm-hmm. I thought they'd feel softer than that. That one does. That's classed as velvet and it's Ooh, thicker. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Mm. Not quite the right colour. like a flapjack. Yeah, these are quite, they are quite thin. But having said that, I don't really need a really thick carpet, but it's more about the colour. What's your favourite? This is, this is the colour of in my bedroom where the sun's hit it and it's faded. This sort of colour. Mm. Um, I've got to take these round during a bit a brighter time. I just like the feeling of this. Um, that's going to be lovely to walk on with bare yeah. feet. You should put it on the floor and then tread on it. Yeah, well, in a minute. I just told mum that I am up to uh, chapter 12, I think, of Akatar, A Court of Thorn and Roses. And I'm just chapter 13. And I'm just not, just not into it. And I feel like everybody that's read it loves it. So if you have read it, please tell me your thoughts. I would like to know. Um, da, da, da. Back to work, eh? Booking request. Da 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 da. Happy Friday. Today is an excellent day. Um, I just met my nephew. I don't think I've, I think I said he was born. Cause so obviously, um, so it's Friday today. He was born last Saturday, uh, but I, I've been sniffly all week. And obviously my brother and my sister-in-law don't want somebody who's not 100% well to be around their newborn baby or themselves. So I've been staying away all week, which has been difficult. Uh, well, it hasn't because obviously I didn't want to make the meal, but I've been, I've been desperate for cuddles and I just had an hour and a half of holds and he was just perfect. We had some eye contact at the beginning because he's been opening his eyes more now. And then um, he's got um, blonde hair and blue eyes. Uh, oh my God. And um, it was just amazing. He just slept on me the whole time. Well, that's what newborns do, don't they? They just sleep. Um, Yeah, so now I'm driving to mum's and work the rest of the afternoon. I'm currently in Cogfosters. For any of you that know North London, which way should I go home? You know when you just can't be bothered with back roads? That's today. That is one of those days. Oh, oh. I didn't get enough sleep last night because I saw Charlie and I didn't get home till about half 12. Yeah, and then I went to bed about half one. And then I've been up since half six, so half 
five and a half hours. <clears throat> Cockfusters. Still not into Akatar. I think I'm on chapter 19 now. Boo! <laughs> I bet you got scared at that. <laughs> I see so many people doing that. No buy. No buy May. No buy January. I'm not going to buy anything. And. I have been really good, but <laughs> um, I these were such a bargain, and this is not what you're going to be. Actually, I was going to say this probably. probably isn't what you're going to be expecting at all. What are you expecting? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Someone saw me do that. <laughs> These were 65 new. 68 new. And I got these four. 25 pounds which yes they're crocs they're platform crocs they're neon green platform crocs and i couldn't be happier <laughs> i just really hope they fit eee! 25 quid that's such a bargain i don't know why they were so cheap and they're real like i've, I've looked at all the like detailing and yeah they might be i mean they're really quite heavy i thought they'd be lighter than that but um yeah, we'll have a fashion show inside. What do you think my mum's gonna say? Oh, Lauren. She might say, oh, they're funky. Do you wanna see my ID picture? I look like a killer. <laughs> She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. And she's always like she's never just before. How am I going to get out of this space like then? together before. Crunch. Do a three point turn. I mean, yes. <laughs> that wasn't even a three point turn, that was just a turn, wasn't it? This year, I just want to do more things that bring me joy and wearing neon Crocs platform neon crocs i feel like is what i'm meant to be doing in 2024. coconut oil um no not coconut oh, oh, thanks. Oh, i'll throw it towards your lap no go on oh god ready yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> can you get it oh, is it dark chocolate or oh, oh no i thought it was dark chocolate oh. we put it back oh for goodness sake <laughs> no it's fine i'll have it no, no. It's dark or light. I think it's dark. It's milk. It's milk. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Do you want to have a look at my new shoes? Close your eyes and then hold the bag. I want your initial reaction to them. Oh my god! <laughs> when you went, did that across, I thought, what was that bright thing? 
<laughs> oh, Lauren. I'm not a fan. Oh my God, hold it up to your head. It's massive. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Um, I can see why you like them. They're really heavy though, aren't they? Yeah. Considering, because you expect them to be light because they're Crocs. Are they real Crocs? Yeah, they're real. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm not sure if they're going to fit me though. Dad, Dad might like Dad them. Dad might hate them. Why me? Oh, Dad might like them. Nice one. Where'd you get them from? Uh, vintage. Oh, right. How much they cost? Yes, £8. Pounds. Guess, okay, guess how much they are I was going to say new. More than that. New, um, £72. Pounds. No, I'd say they're over 100 new. And I reckon you paid about 45 Who's the closest? They're 68.99 new. Oh. And I got them for 25. Wow. Excellent stuff. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to fit me because these these apparently are size 10 size 10 women's. Oh, well that's why that that's why they're being sold, isn't it? Because they're not a size 10. Dad's a size 10. So you'll be able to wear them, Jeff, and you go to the as well. <laughs> Just stick a big insole in it. Just gonna turn the other one. Are you sure? Throw it. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Good throw. That was a good throw. It's got someone's eyelashes in it. But, uh, oh. Apart from that, make a wish. I'm not even sure if I'm really loved them yet. The thing, the thing which I'm confused about. Yeah is that they're casual shoes, like slip-ons, or stick on my Crocs, just run down the garden or run down the road. Am I wrong with that? Because these... 25. I don't know if they're a bit young for me. But they fit perfectly. was an effort and a half. Where am I going? Okay. Um, yeah. That was a different teacher. That was Sylvia to one I've normally had. Normally it's Chris, and I have noticed that his name hasn't been on the rotor for a long time. So I don't know what's happened to him. But yeah, it was it was a good class. I mean, she didn't do. Normally they'll go eight of these, kind of like eight, seven, six, or whatever. She didn't do any of that. She kind of just did a move for a couple of minutes, and then went on to something else. So, but the moves were good. I like the moves. I was trying to be quite, what's the word? Mindful during it. Cause sometimes during that I just zone out and I'm just like, or whatever. Uh, I was like, am I enjoying this? If, if I'm, uh, cause my diet brain kicks in. So I'm like, come on, more movement, more footwork, more energy, more energy, <laughs> more passion. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. It's a bit like life, isn't it? Yeah. So I, was trying to like shut that bit off of my brain and be like are you enjoying this pace is it too much is it too slow what what do you want to do so i was because i don't really listen to the teacher now i do most of the time that's quite that's egotistical of me i do a lot of the time but if i just want to do something different i'll do something different um 
ah that's what i wanted to talk to you about so i hadn't done her class before and i came in and i was just getting down the steps into the pool and she said first time and i immediately took offense to that because my brain said oh well because i'm fat she must think that i've got no clue about exercise and i'm an idiot let's be real that's what my brain said to me and um i went no she went sorry i went no and i was probably a little bit off with her the way i said no but realistically she hasn't seen me before she probably asks that to everybody regardless of their size because she's a good teacher and she wants to know if i need help or if i have any questions or whatever it is so i had to check myself with that auto automatic rhetoric that i've got in my brain um and also that stems into my other side of things where because i'm generally the biggest in the class i then have to really push myself to prove my prove myself in some way prove i'm the best prove i'm better than everyone else whatever it might better than everyone else whatever it might be i'm having a counseling session with myself right now so thank you for being here to witness it so i kind of just realized that today i'm like i can literally do bugger all and no one cares like half of people in that class have no idea what's going on or what day is no that's not fair <laughs> <laughs> that's not fair but very few people put what I would consider a lot of effort in no that's mean cut my it's not my business what other people do so I this is none, none of my business um, and the fact that I'm even thinking anything like that is a, it shows more about me than them anyway I think it's just because I've always been brought up to you know do as much as you possibly can in the classes. Da -da 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 -da. Like I've, I've through my own obsessive gym lifestyle that I had, that's still massively in my brain, and I'm trying to get away from that and just being kinder and just being more intuitive. Intuitive movement, baby. Um, and not working out so much that. Bob, Bob, not working out so much that I'm like flaking out. There used to be a uh, gym guy who used to shout, don't go home with your calories. And he's like, what does that even mean? What does that mean? Yeah, I'm just trying to be a bit kinder all over kinder to myself rather than just preaching all the time actually implementing practicing what i preach as it were but yeah now i need to go and send a couple of vintage parcels i'm going to go home and i'm going to have some food because i'm hungry had a really nice lunch today though of smoked salmon smoked salmon and scrambled eggs that was really good i'm just hot i'm tired I'm thirsty. There's a drink here somewhere. Yeah, I'm tired and I want to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. We're going on a mission. <laughs> a backstreet mission. <laughs> Earlier I left my vintage parcels because I was like, oh, it will be fine. I'll do it later. I'll just go to the two shops I always go to. No. Uh, at quarter to nine. On a Friday night. Your hand is your hand. My hand is my hand. You make me happy when times are grey. I've done this I've just driven to um, 
Sainsbury's Ladbrook Grove, which is like five minutes from me, in the hopes that there's an impost box. <laughs> I don't even know if there is one. I'm just assuming there is because it's a um, because it's a supermarket. But you know, you should never assume. And let's see if I made it into an ass, made out of an, made an ass of. made an ass out of you and me so it's both of us that will be asses if this doesn't have an inbox post box I think he does you know come on everyone channel me channel me or oh. yes yes oh, hallelujah now you've got to channel me you've done that well well done now you've got to channel the fact there's going to be spaces for my lovely gifts, my lovely things to be sent. Never know, dear, how much I love you. Okay, so what is this? This is the famous hair trousers. I'm going to put, you know, the trousers. They're lovely, fresh, all fresh out of the laundry. already there. Okay, I managed to do the impost one, but I didn't manage the everyone's. Because I just went to the every shop. Oh, I haven't told you this. I just I just went to the every shop and I printed out the label. Went to the went to the um, the till, and he was like, "No, you've got to come back tomorrow." Uh, it's too late, which I didn't realise. I thought they just did it all night and then just like saved them till tomorrow. But no. So I'm gonna have to go in the morning, which is frustrating, but hey, I've actually got another one to send anyway in the morning. So I'll just do that with it. But yeah, if you've bought any of these things and you're waiting, I apologise. Hopefully you've received it by now, by the time this is edited and up. <laughs> Actually, no, it was only like yesterday they sold, so it's fine, it's just, yeah. I just haven't been as organized as I normally am. Yeah. Stop talking, Lauren, okay. Even disbelief flashed across his features, but he whipped his head to Lucian. Oh. Magic seared my nostrils, and I stared at recent and undiluted terror as his face contorted with rage. Another day. Another. Parcel. Adventure. Morning. Yeah, it's good. 
Right, three done. One to go. Now we've got to go to this creepy little bit down the back of here. I always never know what I'm going to find down here. Okay. Okay, scan. I have attached everything. Small box, please. It's going to be this one. All my parcels are sent and it's not even 10 a.m. All smug. <laughs> I came out this early because I remembered even though even though I've been given about a month of warnings my car permit ran out today and I was just thinking about permits this morning for some reason and um, I was like oh my permit <laughs> and then I wanted to refresh it uh, renew it but my I'd left my blooming bag in the car with my card in it so I was like I can't leave it because if I leave it I'm gonna get a ridiculous fine and then it'll be my fault so here we are permit it permit done parcels done winning at life on this Saturday morning she looks nice yeah. She had like, um, like Doc Martens on, but then sheer black tights, not like, that is the sound of my car. Um, yeah, um, rather than opaque, sheer black tights. You don't often see sheer black tights anymore. Good morning, hi. Welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> I've just spilt water all down my leg. You see it? Um, I thought, oh, let's be good. Let's get some hydration for the car. And then I didn't do the lid up. Great news. Oh, why is my battery low? Oh. Would you expect anything more? So we are at B&Q. And I'm here to get a plant as a gift. I'm here to get a Boston fern. Or a fern of some type. Let's go and see what they've got. Okay. <gasps> it's early as well. It's like quarter past eight, which is early for me. Do -do -do. Fanny, fan, fan, fan. I don't know where I'm going. 
They're normally all like by the entrance. Garden mm. centre is this way. <clears throat> Just imagine having a proper kitchen like this. And I could be like, oh, oh hi, I'm just gonna use all of my work surface to cook a meal. Put something in the oven. The dream, right? Okay, here we go. I mean, I'm just assuming they've got ferns. They don't look that great, you know. So they've got them in here. In all these bags. That doesn't help me. Excuse me, do you have any Boston ferns that aren't in the bags? Any more? Boston ferns? Or this fern? No, that's it. Just no, it. Okay. Cheers, thank you. Yeah, let's on that table. Okay, I ended up getting one of these three bags. I'll show you in the car. Because the value was really good. So I thought this was really good value from um B Q not sponsored. So I got for ten pounds. Um a Boston fern, which is what I wanted. This is a star, oh, blue star, is it philodendron? And this, I don't know what this is, but three plants for a tenner, which I thought was very good value. Why do I, why do I keep saying value? Value, Val value, value. God, I don't even know what's right anymore. It's destroying my life. I want to say that I know last video I mentioned that I'm in a relationship now and it's all very exciting, completely un, um, unplanned for, uh, but you can't help times and places of things in this world. Um, I am gonna, I, I, if you, if you want to know what she looks like, I posted a picture on my Instagram yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? No, day before yesterday as like a hard launch picture, as it were, um, as loads of you kept c c c commenting on it, c c c c commenting on it. Um, but I'm gonna keep her out of the videos as much as I can for now. Like, obviously if we do something, she might be in the background, but I think I've learned from before that I don't want to have my relationship as on sh show as much as I did before um, obviously in the past things have been the way they were or whatever um, but I think I want to try and do it a bit different this time because you know as much as I film as authentically as I can and this is as real as it that I as I can not as real as I as real as I want to make it as real as whatever everything I do and say is curated in some way and having done it before putting my relationship on a lot um, I think now I, I don't basically what I'm trying to say is I don't want to curate things in my relationship to put on the camera even if it is just showing what we're doing I don't want her to feel like she has to perform in any way um yeah so i just wanted to say that little piece of information and also i don't want it to be i really want my relationship to be an additional part of my life not my life um i had a ex-boyfriend who once said to me um, I'm only ever happy when I'm with you and 
bless him. <laughs> I mean, he's only human. No, I'm joking. But that, to me, I want me, myself, to be number one. And for me to champion myself on my own rather than just always being like like my relationship is my personality i you know if that's if that's you no shame but that is not me at all sorry this keeps dropping don't get me wrong i'm absolutely obsessed i'm absolutely obsessed with that <laughs> but i'm gonna keep it on the down low i think so basically what i'm trying to say is you're not gonna have to be sickened because of like the sickly sweet ah! that's not me i think you already kind of know that God, I've been terrorised by smart cars today. So I'm here to get my hair cut. Hey, stop. <laughs> Cheeky. Um... <laughs> Don't worry, you're not in shot. No good. Um, should we say to there, and then if we need to, we'll take it up? Yes. The shortest bit? Yes, please. Okay. I hope no hairdressers are looking at this. They might criticise my technique. They, they watched me chop the ends last week, so... <laughs> Careful. Careful! <laughs> it's even longer than I said, because you never know. Yay! No, I shouldn't So, hello everybody. The other day, I was sitting on the sofa, <laughs> sofa with my girlfriend about 9pm on a Sunday. All of a sudden, my phone rings. It's this one here, Laura. Hi! Hi, how you doing? Bearing in mind, we haven't spoken for months. We never, we never speak. And uh, and she just was like, "Oh hi, hi, Law, you okay? Yeah." It wasn't um, really like that. It was Law, Law, Law. Law, Law, I, Law I've Law. listed, I've listed a sofa <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> but I've done this, and now it's saying this, and da 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 da. <laughs> I was and I just say to Emma, bit. I was like, "Oh, it's just my hairdresser that I never speak to." <laughs> what else? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> How's your sofa doing? Gone. Oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> to the dump. To the dump. <laughs> How's it going? It's. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. It's all right, mate. It's all right. It's good. It's good. Look, lovely. Lovely jabbly. Wait. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. My head wasn't straight. Uh oh. <laughs> One, one. Bloody ruined it now. <laughs> You're very talented, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's so much. <laughs> Hello. Hey, <bye>, Laura. <laughs> Not sponsored. Huh? Not sponsored, but... Not sponsored. No, <laughs> not sponsored. Not I'm not going to recommend her. I'm joking. <laughs> 20 years of abuse. I'm going to have in incoming calls. I'm going to have messages. I'm going to be inundated. It's going to be a nightmare. Do you want to see Gorgeous. Back? Yes, please. Isn't it? Oh, I have to turn around. No, 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 you don't. Gorgeous. Wait, where do I look? No, okay, so let me hold that. Then you hold, and you turn yourself around like that, and then look like that. Have I got you in? Yeah, I have. You can turn it. Yeah, well, that's you. I don't want me. Wait, why can I not use a mirror? Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't. Yes. It feels like someone else's wig. It's fishy, it's fishy. Oh, it doesn't feel like my hair. <laughs> so it's fishy. <laughs> It's so fishy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. <sighs> work it, girl. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. 
Work it. Work lovely. It with Look at that. Love yourself. Love yourself. You are lovely. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> As I was walking away, she was like, yeah, you need more layers in the back. <laughs> She's like, come back next week. Come back next week. I don't have time now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back next week. But the front looks amazing. It's never, ever looked this shiny in its whole life. I'll ask her to get me some of that stuff that she sprayed this. Oh, she sprayed this lovely spray on it. That was like a detangling spray. And I want to get some. You are come, you little so-and-so. <laughs> um... Normally when Laura does my hair, I just have a trim. Oh, normally when Laura does my hair, I'll put her Instagram if you are in North London and you would like her to cut your hair. <laughs> Not sponsored in any way, just a long-term friend of 20 years. Yeah, she's been cutting my hair since I was 18. Can you believe it? Since I was a bubba. Um, I'll find a picture and I'll put it here of when I first started getting my hair done by her. It was like a, well, it was a couple of lifetimes ago. Yeah. Um, she's in the Finchley area. Um, and tell her Lauren sent you. <laughs> I realize that I am just talking and talking and talking this week and I need to actually end this vlog. So I'm gonna end it here and say thank you so much for watching. Um, oh, those shadows look really nice. That light with the glass. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you get to this point in the video, Please, <laughs> I don't know what to do with nice hair. Um, I was gonna make a joke then and say I don't deserve nice things, but I do. We all deserve amazing things. Um, if you get to this point in the video, comment coffee or a coffee cup, because I'm just about to go and have a coffee. Um, if you would like to send me something, my PO box is below. My coffee link is also below if you'd like to support me and buy me a coffee. Thank you so much for watching and getting to this point in the vlog. Um, yeah, I'm going on a road trip tomorrow, so I might be filming that. So we'll have an exciting video next week. And yeah, have a lovely one. See you next week, bye.